Have you ever wondered how your motorbike or car keeps running smoothly, mile after mile, without a hitch? It's not just the fuel that keeps you going. While fuel is essential, there's another unsung hero under the hood. A crucial component called the alternator plays a vital role in powering your ride. This device ensures that your vehicle's electrical systems are always up and running. This amazing device is responsible for generating electricity while you're on the move. It converts mechanical energy from the engine into electrical energy. The alternator is like the heart of your vehicle's electrical system, tirelessly working to keep everything powered. It supplies power to everything from your headlights and radio to your engine control unit and battery. Imagine driving at night without headlights or trying to start your car with a dead battery. Without a functioning alternator, your vehicle would quickly lose power and come to a standstill. You'd be stranded, unable to continue your journey. In this essay, we'll delve into the fascinating world of alternators and uncover the secrets behind their operation. We'll explore how they work, why they're essential and what happens when they fail. From the basic science to the components involved, we'll break down how these ingenious devices keep your ride powered up and ready for action. We'll learn about the rotor, stator and the role of the voltage regulator, so buckle up and let's explore the electrifying world of alternators. Get ready to gain a deeper appreciation for this essential component that keeps your vehicle running smoothly. Alternators operate on a simple yet fundamental principle of physics known as electromagnetic induction. In simpler terms, they generate electricity by spinning magnets near coils of wire. This spinning motion creates a changing magnetic field which, in turn, induces an electrical current in the wires. Imagine a bicycle dynamo, a simple type of alternator. As the bicycle wheel rotates, it spins a magnet inside the dynamo. This spinning magnet creates a fluctuating magnetic field around a coil of wire, causing electrons to flow and generate electricity. Similarly, in a vehicle's alternator, an external force, typically a belt connected to the engine, spins a rotor inside the alternator. The rotor contains magnets that create a rotating magnetic field as it spins. This rotating field interacts with stationary coils of wire called the stator, inducing an alternating current AC within them. An alternator, despite its seemingly complex function, comprises relatively few components working together harmoniously. Each part plays a crucial role in ensuring the alternator performs its job efficiently. Let's break down the main players inside this electrical powerhouse and understand how they contribute to the overall functionality of the alternator. 1. The rotor. The rotor is the rotating component of the alternator. It is essentially the heart of the alternator, responsible for generating the magnetic field necessary for electricity production. It houses a set of magnets arranged in a specific pattern. These magnets are meticulously placed to create a strong and consistent magnetic field. These magnets are responsible for creating the rotating magnetic field that induces the electrical current. As the rotor spins, it generates a magnetic field that moves in a circular motion to the stator. The stator is the stationary component of the alternator. It remains fixed in place while the rotor spins inside it. It consists of coils of wire wound around an iron core. These coils are carefully designed to maximize the interaction with the magnetic field generated by the rotor. These coils are strategically positioned to interact with the rotating magnetic field produced by the rotor, inducing an electrical current within them. This interaction is the core process of electricity generation in an alternator. 3. The diode rectifier. The electricity generated by the alternator is in the form of alternating current, AC, which constantly changes direction. 
This type of current is not suitable for most vehicle systems. However, most vehicle systems require direct current DC to operate. DC provides a steady and consistent flow of electricity, which is essential for the proper functioning of the vehicle's electrical components. Here's where the diode rectifier comes into play. It is a crucial component that ensures the electricity generated by the alternator can be used by the vehicle. It acts as a one-way valve, converting the AC output from the alternator into DC, suitable for charging the battery and powering other electrical components. This conversion process is vital for maintaining the reliability of the vehicle's electrical system. 4. The Voltage Regulator as the engine speed varies, so does the output voltage of the alternator. Without regulation, this fluctuation could cause significant issues. A voltage regulator, often integrated within the alternator itself, ensures a consistent voltage output regardless of engine speed. It adjusts the voltage to a safe level, protecting the vehicle's electrical components. It prevents voltage spikes that could damage sensitive electronic components in the vehicle. By maintaining a stable voltage, the voltage regulator plays a critical role in the longevity and reliability of the vehicle's electrical system. Section 4, Faraday's Law, not flaming the real force behind alternators. Earlier, we mentioned a law of flaming, a playful mistake on our part. The actual scientific principle governing the operation of alternators is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, named after the brilliant scientist Michael Faraday. Faraday's law states that a changing magnetic field through a coil of wire induces an electromotive force, or EMF, which drives the flow of electric current. In simpler terms, when a magnet moves near a wire, it creates an electrical pressure that pushes electrons to move generating electricity. In the context of an alternator, the rotating magnetic field from the rotor continuously changes its orientation relative to the stator coils. This change in magnetic flux through the coils induces an electromotive force, causing electrons to flow and generate an electrical current. Section 5. The Electric Current a flow of tiny charges. Now that we understand how the alternator generates electricity, let's delve deeper into the concept of electric current, which is fundamental to all electrical systems. In essence, electric current is the flow of electric charge, much like water flowing through a pipe. Just as water flows from a higher to a lower level, electric charges move from a region of high potential to low potential. These electric charges are carried by tiny particles called electrons, which are negatively charged. Electrons are the primary carriers of electric current in most materials. When a potential difference, or voltage, is applied across a conductor, like the wires in the alternator stator, it creates an electric field. This electric field is crucial as it provides the necessary force to move the electrons. This field exerts a force on the electrons, causing them to move and creating an electric current. The movement of these electrons through the conductor is what we observe as electric current. The amount of current flowing through a circuit is measured in amperes, often shortened to amps. Amperes quantify the number of electrons passing a point in the circuit per second. The higher the voltage, the greater the electrical pressure pushing the electrons and hence the higher the current flow. Voltage can be thought of as the driving force that propels the electrons through the circuit. Conversely, resistance in the circuit, like a narrow section in our water pipe analogy, restricts the flow of current. Resistance is an inherent property of materials that opposes the flow of electrons, much like friction opposes motion. Different materials have different levels of resistance. Conductors, like copper, have low resistance and allow easy flow of current, while insulators, like rubber, have high resistance and restrict current flow. Understanding the interplay between voltage, current and resistance is essential for designing and troubleshooting electrical systems. It allows us to predict how circuits will behave under different conditions and ensure they operate safely and efficiently.